ever heard of a man named Horatio Spafford? He was a businessman. And they were getting set for a, a ministry opportunity across the sea. And the great Chicago fire had happened and it wiped out his business. But he was still going to go. And he sent his family ahead of him. And the ship that they were on wrecked. And it went down. And he received a message saying, survive alone. And this man who, I'm sure, had that feeling of, I've lost everything, gets on the ship to meet his wife. And as they go across the waters and they approach the very spot that the ship went down and he lost his children, the captain tells him. And you would imagine that most people would just go into just full-on despair. But instead, he goes down to his cabin, I imagine, and sits down with pen and paper and he begins to write and express himself see that was that was his vent that was his mode of getting things out what's interesting are the words that he wrote you see he could have written anything really but ins instead of writing something with doom and gloom he wrote what is considered one of the most famous hymns of the church and one of my all-time favorites. So listen. When peace like a river attendeth my way or when sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever, whatever my lot Thou hast taught me to say It is well, it is well Out, church, it is well, it is well with my soul. My sin, all oh, the bliss of this. Glorious thought that my sin not in part but the whole was nailed to his cross and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord. Taste the day when my faith, it shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. And the trumpets, they will sound, and my Lord, He Send even so it is well with my soul. It 
is well with my soul. It is well, it is well. is well with my soul and I'm glad about it I am it is well with my soul it is well it is well my soul